Hey there everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome back to the channel and today we are doing another episode of What Do They Use? The show where I take a look at toy armory men or any toy that has involved guns or weapons or equipment from the military where we decide or dis determine what are they using and today is another one from the big bucket of army men set. We are covering the last country in this set which is the United Kingdom or Britain or England. Why do you have so many names? Anyways, let's get into this. So looking at what we have, we can tell that this is the British Army during World War II, early World War II, as some of them are wearing shorts, which indicates probably North Africa campaign. So starting off in the back, we have the commander. Then we have a bagpiper for music, because who doesn't love music on the battlefield? We have a grenade thrower. Our machine gunners, well there's three, one standing, one crouch, one prone, two people bayonet charging, one person actually aiming the rifle, one person hitting someone with the rifle, a machine gunner on the ground, a guy crawling, and for some reason, a guy getting shot. So let's get into looking at them. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at, like always with this series, we're going to start with the rifleman. So we have this guy here, do a full 360 around him. Next we have the bayonet chargers, we have this one, we have the next one which is also bayonet charging. And we have the one that's hitting with his butt of his rifle. We're going to start off with, well, we're going to take a look at this guy for example. So, starting off, we're going to start top with his helmet. And the helmet that he is using would be the M2 Brody, a World War II British helmet. Based off the World War I design, starting early war. Later they'll move to a different helmet, later war. So, there we go. Next up, we actually get a look at his uh, uniform and webbing and everything, which is the Pattern 37, or I believe it's the Pattern 37 or the Pattern 39 webbing. So he's carrying extra ammo on his back and everything. I'll put a picture up here of the webbing system. Next, on his hip here, we have a canteen. And the canteen he's using would be the Mark VI canteen, which is a really big canteen. I mean, really big. It has a nice wool cover on it and everything. So, yeah, big canteen for those long expeditions. And to the main point of this guy, the weapon he is carrying, uh, with all of them, they are carrying a mixture of these. This one here is the Mark III SMLE Lee Enfield. But they're also, since it's World War II, they're starting to introduce the number four Lee Enfield, Mark, the number four Lee Enfield, which is a more updated, improved version of the Mark III. But don't quote me on that, I'm still learning. I'm a still a novice in history and learning, but I just love weaponry. But yeah, this is the Mark III. This one was made in 1935 as the Bolt, detachable box magazine, 10 rounds, fires a 303 British round, safety, and yes, the Mark III, or number four. 
All right, so that covers the riflemen. Next, we are going to cover the machine gunners, which are this guy. You have one in a crouch position, and you have one in a prone position with the bipod. For this instance, we're going to look at the standing one. Now, he is wearing a something different, more of a beret or a beret item which would be more commonly used with the special forces of SAS and the, those guys. So as a kid I always said these guys were the SAS. So yeah, but the gun he is using would be either the Mark I or Mark II Bren gun, which I'll put here. The Bren gun was arguably one of the best uh, light machine guns of the Allied side. Easy to carry, easy to use, interchangeable barrels, 30 round box mag, and all around a good general purpose light machine gun. It also fires the 303 round, but later after World War II they were rechambered, some were rechambered in 7.62 by 51 millimeter NATO. Next, we're gonna be looking at the Grenader. And the only notable thing that he brings to the addition is the addition of his grenade. And the grenade that he is using would be the Mills Bomb. Uh, multiple variants. I <laughs> it's in his hand. That's all I can tell. And the most commonly we used grenade. Um, Britain used was the Mills bomb, whether it be from number two up to number whatever they want to go up to. But yeah, here's a photo of the Mills bomb, and it's multiple variant. All right. Next, we're gonna take a look at the oddballs, which would be the guy crawling here. And the guy getting shot. I don't know why you would I cast this mold of a guy getting shot in Army Men's. I mean, I kind of get it, but at the same time, I never really use these guys. So for the next one, we are going to take a look at this guy. And based on the silhouette of what he's holding, would be a Thompson. And based on the silhouette of the Thompson, we can say that this is... The M1928A1, which is the wartime version of the 1928 version of the Thompson. Which uh, replaces a lot of it for wartime use, or the frontal handguard, and trying to make it more soldier friendly. Now, I don't have a 1928 or 1928A1, but I do have this. This is a 1927 carbine from Auto Ordnance. Has the 30 round box mag. And this one has the pistol grip, but based on what we saw the silhouette, it has the cuts compensator at the front. So that way we can see that it's a modified 1928A1. And it has the stock and everything. So yeah, I like this one a lot. And so yeah, 1928. This one is a 1927 carving, but 1928 M1928A1. Next one will be just kind of like an honorable mention, really, because I'm not I'm not a musician. I don't know musical instruments, but all I know is those are bagpipes. And always in a World War II movie, like such as The Longest Day, you had that guy that just marched around with a bagpipe all the time, which either helped or annoyed the soldiers going around with him. So yeah, bagpiper. And the last person we'll take a look at would be the officer or commander of the unit, which he has a kind of a overcoat on, his officer's hat, has a pair of binoculars here. I do not know which pair of binoculars those are. But yep, all around you have your officer. That is usually in the back or kind of near the front but not actually at the front. So in conclusion we have determined that they are using the Mark III and number no. 4 Lee Enfield rifles, the Mark I or Mark II Bren guns, the M1928A1 Thompsons, the Mills Bomb grenade, Mark II Brody helmet, Mark VI canteen, and the pattern 37 or 39 webbing and a bagpipe. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button wherever they're going to move it to. Hit that subscribe button as well. I've loved the addiction of my Vlinda 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 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for doing what you do. Liking, subscribing, sharing, 
It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel. It means a lot to the community. Speaking of community, don't forget to join the Discord server. Link is down below in the description so you can come chat, join, hang out, post your videos, post your memes, post anything that's appropriate. Because I like seeing what you guys post. It brings a brings a smile to my face every day. I see you guys post in there. So with all that said, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>